Feel like upping the stakes of your late night skinny dips? Well, welcome to Lake Neos, one of the most dangerous lakes on the planet. Here, your cannonball might just take thousands of lives. What makes Lake Neos so deadly? How much damage could it cause? And how bad a splash will you make by falling in it? This is What If, and here's what would happen if you fell into Lake Neos. In the northwest region of Cameroon, Africa, over a volcanic crater lies Lake Neos, a small lake with depths of about 210 meters. Crater lakes like Neos tend to release carbon dioxide due to volcanic activity deep below. Usually, this carbon dioxide dissipates slowly as the lake naturally shifts. But if the lake stays still enough, the gas dissolves into the water and continues accumulating there, steadily turning it into a ticking time bomb. So what would happen if that water were suddenly disturbed? Neos is one of only three lakes known to accumulate deadly levels of carbon dioxide. Agitating this kind of lake could cause something called a limnic eruption. But hold on, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. You'd have a front row seat to this catastrophe, and without even knowing it, you'd be the trigger of a major disaster. As your body sank into the deadly waters of Lake Neos, the dissolved carbon dioxide would rise to the surface. The lake would start to bubble, and these bubbles would cause even more turbulence. Have you seen the famous Diet Coke and Mentos eruption? Yeah, that would be you. A 90-meter water jet would explode into the sky, sending you flying as high as Big Ben in London. We'll say you're lucky enough to survive the drop, but you'd still have all the carbon dioxide to deal with. In 20 seconds, all of the accumulated gas would be unleashed in a cloud over one kilometer wide. It would spread as far as 25 kilometers away from the lake, and it would travel at a speed of up to 48 kilometers per hour, silently choking most of the living creatures in its path. If you were in a village nearby, instead of soaking in Lake Neos, you'd hear a strange rumbling sound, followed by the sight of a white mist rising from the lake. The deadly gas cloud would then usher in a gust of wind, putting out any fire that might be around you. This is because carbon dioxide gas is heavier than air, and at high concentrations, it displaces oxygen. No oxygen means no combustion and no fire. But it also means you wouldn't be able to breathe. You would drop dead after a single gasp of air. This is exactly what happened in 1986 when a landslide or an earthquake triggered a limnic eruption on Lake Neos. In total, 1,746 villagers and 3,500 livestock died instantly. No one was there to witness how its usually serene blue waters turned red from all the iron churned up from the bottom. Still up for a swim at the most dangerous lake on Earth? Well, the Lake Neos disaster happened when the concentration of carbon dioxide in the lake was at its highest. And since 1986, some safety measures have been taken to avoid this happening again. Like a pipe at the bottom of the lake that now allows the gas to escape safely. But still, I wouldn't recommend risking your life for this experiment. Even with some of the gas being vented, Neos has just way too much carbon dioxide. Maybe you could push your luck by going for a dip at another dangerous lake, Lake Natron. Hint, uh, it could turn you to stone. But that's a story for another What If.